Hey, look what I pulled out of the boat. <laughs> yeah, I did not do the best job on that gear. I think I was just so sick of cutting gear teeth after this hundred and... What's that, 128 teeth? Ugh. That I rushed through this one. So, now I'm going to try to do a good job on this guy. Well, that fits much better than the last one. Wow, nice work. Oh, a bit of filing right there. Yeah, like, probably like two more turns and it should be good. Why? Well, I'm just guessing. guessing. Do, not, do another one. Ah, I wasn't careful enough. My bearings just fell at the bottom. They float though. There they go. I'm ready to go get them. There's one over there. Looks like I see them all. I think they're all there. All right, everything back together. I also drilled two little holes under here. One on this side, one on the other side. So water can come through and lubricate the uh, bearing in there. I think I might get a file and just tune this up a little bit. Like there's a spot where it sticks. There's another one. Another one. Yeah, most of it's pretty smooth though. Oh, smooth for, you know, eyeballed and handmade gears. Okay, pedal forward. For like 10 seconds. Until I get the thing lined up right. Okay, can you can you pedal? Okay, pedal just like you did the first time. I did a much better job on this gear this time. That is so much smoother. Yeah. Oh, and look, I've got my little GPS thing. I can actually see how fast I'm going. Let's reset everything. All right, let's see how fast we can get this banana rocket. From stationary. Set everything. Three point four kilometers per hour. Five kilometers per hour. Six kilometers per hour. Seven kilometers per hour. Seven and a half. Eight kilometers per hour. That's eight point two. We gotta get faster than that. 9.9 well 10 kilometers an hour is like 6.2 miles an hour so I guess that was probably like 6.1 miles an hour not bad best thing is I was pedaling pretty hard 
and there was no gear slippage and nothing made a terrible sound. Ah, good thing. With easy pedaling, I can get over six kilometers per hour pretty easily. Like, you know, the kind of pedal pace I could do for hours, which is like uh, four, yeah, about four miles per hour. Um, and now I need to get my motor here soon because I'm starting to think of ways to make the pedals more efficient in ways that are going to make it less efficient when the motor gets here. Like uh, if I make a bigger propeller and make it, you know, the correct pitch instead of what it is right now, which is kind of high pitched. Um, if I do that, I'll be able to pedal faster, but I won't be able to go, the pedals won't be able to keep up when the motor's going. And I mostly want to use this when a motor's going. And I just want the pedals to be, you know, functional to get around, but not optimized. Definitely want to optimize for when the motor's here. And I don't want to put in a bunch of, uh, oh man, the wind's coming, it's going to mess up the sound. Anyway, I don't want to put in a bunch of gearing, like I don't want to change gears. I want to keep things as simple as possible. Right now there are hardly any moving parts, not much to break, and I like that. So I just want to optimize it for what I'm going to do, like, 90% of the time. The motor and the solar panels and everything I need to electrify this sucker will be here in about a week. So between now and then, I just need to chill out and wait. Now there are a couple little things I can still do. I can put a like a tail cone on the propeller, because right now it has a flat back, so I'll just put a cone on that. Uh, oh yeah, and I need to put stabilizers on this, because these just swing freely right now. Like I can just push on them and they move. I will definitely want to stabilize those before I put a solar panel roof up here and put expensive stuff in the boat. I'm thinking of just putting a, like a stick from here up to the front and have a couple different holes I can go to in the front so I can adjust these. Ah, I just remember the other major thing I could do. Foot clips. Some kind of collar on here with a bearing that can swivel, like a little flat plate and a whoosh strap. Stick my foot in, strap it in, maybe have a part that comes here. I don't know, maybe just strapped on here is good enough. Just slip my foot in, just so I can pull and push. And to make it so that, you know, it, it's kind of hard to pedal on a round thing. Like, I can do it, but I have to pay attention to not just letting my foot roll. Is it, you know, roll over the thing? <laughs> so every every revolution, I have to reset my foot, or can I slide it back? Yeah, that would actually make it much easier to pedal, particularly when trying to pedal fast. To have clips on there. I just went for a few miles and uh, while I was out there I chipped a gear tooth again. It was kind of weird because it's not like the gear tooth sheared off because half the tooth is still there like totally intact. It's just the one half just cracked off and like totally broke off. Clean break. So uh, what I think is going on is this. So like I made the gears imperfect. Like, I kind of eyeballed them, I don't have the, the, the thing to control the angles to get the teeth perfectly lined up, so I'm hoping as I run them, they'll kind of wear into each other and smooth out, right? Uh, and I think the plastic is too brittle to expect that to happen, because instead of wearing, it's just cracking. And, you know, it, it took a while, I was pedaling pretty hard for a while before it, it happened. But, you know, I can, I have to presume that's going to happen again. Um, so I guess there's like two main options. Either change the material or make more perfect gears. Uh, so for more perfect gears, I actually have an index, indexable rotary table thing coming in a week when the motor comes. I think it should be on that shipment. Um, 
So I could use that to actually remake the gears or just recut the gears into the same piece actually for the big one and then just make a new small one and just make them really good shapes so they don't need to wear into each other. They're already like really good shape um, and that may prevent the, the problem. Uh, the other option, you know, changing the material. Um, lots of options there. Like I could try aluminum, aluminum, like melt some down. I could even take like the big gear that I have there, press it into the clay, pull it out and use that as a mold and melt a bunch of cans and pour that into there. The only, the only reservation I have with aluminum, aluminum is it corrodes in salt water if it's not anodized or something. I don't know, I might have to do a little research into that to figure out um, how to make them not have that problem. Another option would be stainless steel. It'd be a little bit tricky, but I could make those gears out of stainless steel. And the good thing about that is it's, you know, it's not brittle. It's a really strong material. So even if I can't get the shape like, you know, really, really good, uh, the teeth will wear into each other before they snap off. Like they're not going to snap off. They're, they'll wear into each other. So as long as I get them like roughly the right shape, the roughness will just kind of get smoothed out as they run. Uh, and then, you know, once they're smoothed out, stainless steel gears will last. Oh man, maybe I need to do that. If I could, if I could make a decent set of stainless steel gears, I could just forget about it. They would last forever. Oh. That sounded like a good option now. They're going to be tricky to make. I don't know. I'm not going to do it right now. It still runs fine. Even on, you know, half a chipped tooth. Uh, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to ignore the problem for the moment. And uh, let my brain think about the solution I want to do. But that stainless steel one sounds really good. Long term solution.